Exquisite news. Episode 11 has arrived. You're very welcome. It is 11 o'clock on a Sunday morning here in sunny England. It's th 29 degrees Celsius. If you're American, that roughly um, translates to being very hot. Uh, it's a wonderful day. Today we have a wonderful little short medium bodied cigar. Rafael Gonzalez, Perla. <sighs> a lovely little stick. Um, I do prefer the Petit Corona, but the Perla is slightly fuller bodied, um, but a wonderful smoke nonetheless. I haven't had breakfast, so this will be my breakfast accompanying a lovely black coffee. Cheers. Vitola de la Salida, Perla. Vitola de Galera, Perla. And the size is, I've forgotten, it is length of four inches, ring gauge of 40. A light to medium. Uh, it's not quite as light as the um, Petit Corona, which I do prefer. 20 minutes to little smoke time. Let's get to cutting and lighting. It's very warm here. Very warm indeed. A good thing. Hope every oh that looks very tightly packed. Hope everyone is having a wonderful weekend wherever you are. Mmm. That does look extremely tightly packed. We'll light it up, see how it gets on. It's a shame. Two reviews, two tight cigars. Um, review number 10 being the Distinguido. Distinguido was a disappointment for the society, being me. Uh, let's get to lighting. No time for a soft flame. I'm going to meet some compadres for lunch. <sighs> the other owners. I haven't smoked one of these for a couple of weeks now. Um, I think the example that I smoked a couple of weeks ago might be better. You can also tell when a cigar is too tightly packed because when you light it, it doesn't it doesn't light very well and it looks different on the foot. Okie dokie, let's get that out of shot, it's an ugly lighter. Mm. Not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Very pleasing, very, very pleasing indeed. It's very, very young. There's some ammonia there. Um, the last pearl I smoked was about 15 years old, so um, this is a slightly different experience. I'm enjoying that already. That is a good sign. I hear yourself asking, what is this here? This is a new humidity um, solution, um, should we say. I'm gonna be doing a review on, like a full video on uh, how to keep your cigars, whether that's in a Tupperware, a Ziploc bag, um, a humidor, um, or whatever, and then what to use. I will be doing a, f a full video, but this is the new product I am using at the moment. I'm not sponsored by them. Um, I'm just trying it out. So far, so good, but there will be a full review. I have their big 340, 69% in my humidor at the moment, and it seems to be working well. 
so we'll see. It's a salt-free, um, seems very good, sounds good, we'll see how we get on. Um, and when I say I'm not sponsored, I have not sponsored one bit, it's just a friend of mine, he's given me some bits to try out. So I'm trying it out, if it's good, I'll let you know. If it's not, I'll let you know. Wonderful. Mild. Leather. A bit of coffee. And that's really a very, very enjoyable flavour profile for me. Um, I do like Rafael Gonzalez. That's really tremendous, and we're what? Not even a centimetre into the cigar. Um, excellent. And on that note, I'll say cheers to you, and of course, cheers to me. Hope you're smoking along at home. Ah, that is a good point. My next review, I said I was going to mention what I'm going to review in this video for the next video. So any uh, potential viewers can smoke along. Um, when the next upload is, but I haven't given it a thought yet. I'll think about it during this review and let you know at the end. <coughs> Excuse me. Moving on to some information about Rafael Gonzalez. Rafael Gonzalez was created in the 1930s. It was a brand, it was this brand that the six and a half inch by 42 gauge cigar, which has the factory name of Cervantes, Ch I don't know how to say that, Cervantes, Cervantes, um, was the first, if I'm saying that correctly, if I'm not, let me know, um, was the first called Lonsdale, after Lord Lonsdale, the famous English sporting earl and cigar aficionado of that period. Now, many other brands use that name as well. On its lid label, each box carries a curious inscription written in English, to the effect that the cigar should be smoked within one month of the date of shipment from Havana or otherwise they should be carefully matured for about one year. Rafael Gonzalez cigars contain a light tasting blend of filler and binder leaves from the Vuelta Bajo zone. Wonderful. Um, that sounds like a fantastic breakfast cigar. That's what I'm doing here. I will, I've just picked up a box of the um, Petit Corona, and they haven't arrived yet, so I will be doing a review of the Petit Corona, which I think is a wonderful everyday smoke. You know, I have a couple of those throughout the day. Um, a, a lovely size, a lovely mild cigar for eating before, before dinner, before lunch, during lunch, after lunch. It's coming in a little more perfume now. That was lacking at the start. Um, a little bit floral, a little bit herbaceous. Nice and light. Um, let's see what Cigar Aficionado has to say. Despite the small size, this little tawny coloured cigar has a voluminous draw that imparts a smoke loaded with oak and maple notes, accentuated by black pepper and earthy carob. Oaky maple notes, black pepper and carob. Interesting. 89 out of 100 from Cigar Aficionado. Um,
maybe some black pepper on the palate. No black pepper in the retrohale, which is very nice. I like to retrohale most of the time when I'm smoking cigars. And I'm sort of staying clear of things that are overly pepper, uh, overly peppery on the nose. Um, but this is really, uh, a really wonderful. Um, ring gauge of 40, like four inches. Strength, light to medium. Smoke time, 20 minutes. I think it's more like 30 to 30, yeah, 30 minutes, you know, that's, a that's at, least, at least a 30 minute smoke. I don't think many people would be drawing down on that in um, 20 minutes. That would, would probably ruin the cigar. <coughs> Excuse me. As we say here in the UK, a frog in the throat. Lovely black co coffee to accompany my delightful breakfast. Tell you what, I haven't even noticed the drawer being too tight. Um, it looked, you know when you cut the cigar, it looked like you weren't even going to be able to pull any air through it, but I eat my words. The draw is quite wonderful, quite wonderful. I prefer it just a fraction looser. Um, if this was sort of double the length, it, you might run into some, some issues, but as it's just such a small little stick, it's not going to tire out the cheeks. It's just wonderful. It really is. There's now it's it's creamy. Um, there's that sort of uh, golden syrup, molasses, treacle sort of um, flavors go, flavor profile going on in the, in the nostrils and at the back of the palate that I really enjoy from a nice mild cigar. You could smoke that whole cigar through the nose and it would be a pleasurable experience. And it, w it wouldn't. Be. Not up the nose, but obviously, yeah. And at the time of uh, filming this review, this is an extremely well-priced, good value for money cigar, around 15 pounds. So this could be one of the best first cigars, um, both the Perla and the Petit Corona. This could be up there with one of the best budget cigars. Throwing that out there. Might be the title of my video. It's not many cigars you can get for this price. Rafael Gonzalez Perla, Paul Arañaga Monte Carlo, if we're talking Cubans. Um, Half Corona is now seventeen pounds, eighteen pounds. Um, very, very good budget-friendly stick. The Rafael Gonzalez Pearl. Moving on. The reviews. Lovely day smoke. Plentiful. Almost sweet smoke, which left a lovely taste. We'll definitely buy more. Did not pat long, but what did I expect? Oh, I think here it should be saying, did not last long, but what did I expect? Very enjoyable, 25 minutes. Again, first class. From Paul. Wonderful review. Four, uh, five stars out of five. Moving on. 
These make a lovely morning or early afternoon smoke. I have a few boxes dated November the 1st and they have aged quite well. The wrapper still has an oily, has an oily sheen. Missed the age there. It is a mild smoke. This may be in some part down to the age of these. Woody with mild cinnamon spice. Very agreeable little stick. I do find more cinnamon, um, more sort of light, mild baking spices from the Petit Corona. Um, which is surprising with this being a sort of slightly stronger cigar. Uh, maybe that's why. Uh, a, a wonderful review from Andrew there. Moving on. Pretty good value for money. Smoke fairly fast, slightly uneven burn, but nothing to complain about. Nice taste and aroma, very little smoke. All in all, worth it. I've had wonderful burn, actually. Ash holding very nicely, it's not ended up in my lap so far. Terrific. Up there with one of the best ways to start the day. Okay, I had this with a white coffee, mildly sweetened. Good construction that burned pretty much evenly. Was that the coffee or the cigar? Started off peppery and leathery in the first quarter, giving way to a woody hay flavour, but still maintaining a slight peppery undertone. Not getting any of this pepper, really. It's not a very peppery stick. Uh, became a much more mild smoke towards the halfway mark. Very smooth and creamy. Pepper kicked back in during the third quarter, but still incredibly smooth with woody flavours still coming through. Final quarter, past the band, smooth leather, wood and pepper all coming together in a fantastic crescendo. Recommended to any smoker of light cigars who want to explore a good Cuban. A musical review from Daniel. <sighs> Rating it 4 out of 5 stars. Our final review. Really disappointing. Dry, flaky leaves. Had to relight continuously. One star from Paul. It sounds like Paul wasn't, in fact, smoking a Rafael Gonzalez Perla, but a handful of leaves he found on the street. There's not too much evolution in this cigar. At the moment, it is a short stick and we're only three quarters of an inch in. Um, but that's no bad thing, it started delicious, it's still delicious, it's mild, it's very mild at the moment, so thus far. Every time, every time. my hunting coasters. Sort that out later. Um, wonderful burn though, wonderful burn. Always when I'm not looking catches me off guard. Rafael Gonzalez Perla. Coming in a little more floral actually now. That's terrific. That is terrific. Room note, wonderful. Wonderful as always. Not getting anything sort of out of the ordinary from the room note. Just slight woody notes. A little bit of sweetness. Very nice, very nice.
seem to be holding it a lot like a recorder these days, playing it like a flute or a recorder. It is, in fact, a cigar. Draw's getting a little bit tighter, um, as to be expected. All the oils sort of go through the cigar as you're smoking it and gather. That's why the flavours change. Flavour profile changes as you're smoking the cigar. But it's not unpleasant. So far, we're sort of approaching the... We're not even halfway actually, it's such a short cigar isn't it? Um, we're sort of approaching the halfway mark and so far I can barely tell I've smoked anything. Um, so a very, a very mild cigar. Um, it's just making me think more and more that it would be a terrific first cigar because I know uh, the usual recommendation that I give is an Epi 2, uh, could also 50, um, Petit Corona, Paul um, uh, uh, this as well, but um, it's just being that sort of small, short and sweet entry into the cigar world, I think would satisfy most. It's, it's a wonderful cigar. It's satisfying me, that's for sure. And um, I smoke a lot of cigars. A healthy amount of cigars. I can't say that on YouTube, actually. I smoke cigars. This is the Cigar Society with me, Gideon. Still very mild on the retrohale, incredibly mild. A little bit, a little bit of more sweetness. If it, had, if it was a little more buttery and creamy, it would be what up there with one of my favourites. Um, I, I really do enjoy that sort of buttery, creamy flavour at the moment. It's terrific. I don't know what more to say about this little stick. If you're looking for a light, mild, anytime smoke that you can pick up, enjoy, um, you don't need to take an hour and a half to sit down and smoke it. It's not going to knock your socks off um, strength-wise. Smells tremendous. In fact, I think I'm going to save a little bit to smoke in my car on the way to lunch. Okay, my time delayed camera cut off as always around the 20 minute mark, but I think I'm going to leave the review there. Um, it's been wonderful. It's, it's put me in a good mood for the day. Rafael Gonzalez Perla, terrific. What we will be reviewing next week will be. Let's have a think. I think as I've not prepared this, I'll think, and we'll do that next week, I will put in the review next week what we're going to review together, um, as I'm not sure what I can get my hands on, and I'm not sure what I've got in the humidor that's going to work well for a smoke. Maybe for my American viewers, I will finally do a New World Cigar review next week. That's probably what I'll do, and then we'll uh, talk about what I'm going to review in the next video. I'll have that prepared. On that note, and on this enjoyable room note from the lovely 
Rafael Gonzalez Perla, I'm going to say thank you very much for watching. Enjoy the sun, Alvida Zane.